humanity's biggest leaps, from the Bronze Age to skyscrapers and airplanes, owe a lot to alloys, but why do alloys have totally different properties from the pure metals they're made of? Let's dive in. Pure metals have atoms arranged in a perfect regular crystal lattice. This makes them great conductors but often too soft or weak. Layers of atoms can slide past each other easily, like a deck of cards. Alloys are mixtures of two or more metals, or a metal and a non-metal, combined at the atomic level, typically by melting them together and allowing them to solidify. This process fundamentally alters the microstructure and atomic arrangement, compared to the pure constituent metals, leading to different properties. In substitutional alloys, like brass, differently sized atoms distort the lattice, making it harder for layers to slide, boosting strength and hardness. In interstitial alloys, like steel, tiny carbon atoms fit into gaps, pinning the structure even more. This disruption creates stronger materials with new microstructures. Common changes. Alloys are usually stronger and harder like soft iron becoming tough steel. Melting points drop for easier casting like bronze versus copper. Conductivity often decreases, but corrosion-resistant skyrockets think rust-free stainless steel. These changes make alloys tunable for specific applications. Engineers design them to optimize properties that pure metals lack, like combining the lightness of aluminum with the strength of titanium in aircraft alloys. By tweaking the atomic arrangement, alloys give us materials pure metals can't match. That's the power of alloying, engineering the invisible for a stronger world. Thanks for watching. Follow us for more interesting science facts.